Alright, so I played the game recently called Stasis. First of all, good lord. Second, ew. Third, <sighs> okay. This game is. I feel like there's something crawling on my skin. This is what this game makes me feel. I wouldn't call it that scary, although uh, I guess it is scary actually. But it's more than that. It's uncomfortable, disturbing, absolutely repulsive at times. The things shown, uh, I don't even want to think of them. If that sounds like a recommendation to you, go nuts. Just don't let me know about that. What is it about? <laughs> I don't want to even think about it. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> Laboratory spaceship, seemingly deserted, and a lone survivor awakens from stasis in the middle of it. Lost, dazed and confused. What caused everyone to flee? Why have their dead bodies? Who keeps the products in stasis? And for what reason? All questions and more will be answered. Sadly. What did I like? Well, I have to admit one thing. This game isn't filled with jump scares or annoying failure states. Like a lot of horror games and... I suppose what's the best way to describe this game? It is a horror game. Usually they rely on jump scares. Only a handful of those here and being isometric it's actually much easier to react to those than something like Amnesia or Outlast where... Well, I'm not gonna describe my reaction, I'll just say it's embarrassing. And every failure doesn't really put the player behind that far. Sadly, the cutscenes are unskippable, but, well, they don't last too long. Just as what the game respects the player's time. Save at any moment, easily reload, loading as fast, etc, etc. And the horror itself is more through the constant anxiety and slow unravel, which is a much more difficult and much more impactful way of doing it. At first it's just dead people and the possible monster on the loose, then more and more of a horrific science gets revealed. And, well, I'm just gonna say before I... I'm just gonna say, I usually eat while playing games. And I'm glad, glad I ate before and not during playing this. Honestly, if it was just gore or just, hey, look how messed up this is, I don't think I'd be as appalled. But the game tries to capture this point of view, the kind of thinking that says, this is justified. The results speak for themselves. Cancer, HIV, whatever else, all cured. But how? And therein lies the worst part of all. The justification. And I do not want to think more of it. For there is a part, tiny part of me which, however hidden, can come out and say... Maybe. What did I dislike? Well, there's the obvious, how repulsive this is. But I'll ignore it. And instead I'll say what the puzzles are point and click level. At first it's not too bad, read the PDA, find a clue, drill the tank to fake a leak, and cause the system to reset. All good. But then you've got impossible to spot pull cue, or bone bending glue, or that confusing as hell operation scene with a time limit of all things. <sighs> if I did not have a walkthrough, and by the way, shout out, shout out to Walkthrough King, really got me through all this, no nonsense, just do this, do that, really well and really simply written. Thanks, Walkthrough King. I'm not associated. Really crappy look inside though. Anyway, if I did not have that, boy would I be frustrated. As something makes no sense. There are a lot of badly visible items to pick up. Objects which look interactable but aren't. And, well, you get the idea. Typical point and click problems. There are also unskippable cutscenes, like I said. Well, really, all in all, all, in all I'd say the game is... It's well done for what it is trying to do. It's reminding me of Dead Space, and I absolutely detested Dead Space. Boy, does that game suck. It's like someone sat down and wrote down a formula to make a horror game. Body horror, check. Annoying jump scares, check. Blunt as hell protagonist, check. And then rewrite the game itself. Okay. <coughs> okay, we didn't grab a jump scare for 5 seconds. Better add one here. Okay, not enough annoying enemies. Add a couple there. I seriously played that game and went, okay, there's gonna be a jump scare in 3, 2, and every single time I was right. Every single time I was right. Boy, did I hate that game. So badly done, I can't believe it. Fuck that space. Anyway, Stasis is that kind of game, but done right. No horrible shooting, no annoying enemies, just trembling in fear and disgust at all times. With a sprinkling of morbid fascination. The only other time I felt this, this revulsion was when I played a hosted game, game called Blood for Poppies. 
It's a game which is purely text, like a lot of other games I talked about before, but it's unique in that it's um, bloody repugnant. Again, what it tried to do, it did well, but, you know, I'll say what whoever wrote this, I wouldn't want to meet them. Their name is Emmy Smith. Sounds made up, but whatever. And for stasis, for stasis, this Christopher Bischoff. Same goes for him. Anyone who comes up with a story like that... Please, never meet me in real life. I'm scared of you. <clears throat> but I didn't just play Stasis 1. I also played Stasis 2. Because there's this sick part of me which just wants to know more. And I am rarely left this speechless. This has to mean much. Anything I might say about Bone Totem is... Well, for the, first, for the most part, true for one as well. There is a lot of... disgust. This was impossible to play through quickly. I had to take breaks. To give myself some breathing room. To be able to touch something real and see what the world isn't as horrific and desperate as what I'm seeing before me here. And the puzzles were, again, a bit of a struggle without a walkthrough. This time the Steam forums had it from the developer himself. Very nice of him to do that. Not sure I can say the same about making this game, though. And yet I pushed through. Despite not being a fan of horror, nor enjoying the sick imagination of the one who came up with this back, uh, with the backstory of this, yet I just had to know where it is going. This morbid curiosity pushed me along, and... I don't know, whenever it's my stomach being sick again, or whenever it's experience in this game, but I was just nauseous. Right, so, lack of coherency aside, <clears throat> I will say that this game has nothing here to connect to the first game. I'm pretty sure there might have been some references, but that's entirely unnecessary to understand anything here. The game asks and answers everything. I don't know if the first game was played or not. It's just to say that, if you have this curious bone in your body, pushing to dig further, even if it's looking worse and worse as it goes on, then this game is something to experience, and is a unique experience. The last time I felt something like this was when playing Zero Escape. But that would, there it was a lot more about psychological horror, twists and ultimately hope. In stasis, there is pain, misery and disgust. Hope is dead. And I won't soon forget either of his games.